I'm Peter Kowalczyk. I'm a geophysicist. And um, I started a company called Ocean Floor Geophysics, which is specifically uh, has a market niche providing geophysical services for the exploration for submarine massive sulfides. We provide services to other companies and um, we've been working in the South Pacific uh, in the territorial waters of uh, Tonga, New Zealand, uh, Papua New Guinea and Japan. The reason that's an area of interest is it's part of the Ring of Fire and um, it's where the big copper gold deposits are, are found in the world and it's where the highest grades are found in the submarine massive sulfide deposits. Again, uh, we're a private company. My point really is that um, investors should invest in ocean floor exploration. Uh, I think that um, the assessment of risk by the community is uh, probably wrong, that uh, the discovery rates for uh, new deposits in the world and the ability to bring them to production is uh, not very good. And um, the economics and discovery rates for submarine massive sulfides are, in my opinion, surprisingly good. Because it's different and no mines have been built to date, uh, investors are quite wary of it. Most people will have seen is that uh, Nautilus Minerals has stopped uh, development on their um, flagship project in Papua New Guinea. And I think the important thing to realize is that um, that stopped for political reasons. They stumbled with the PNG government. The deposit's very good and they have a lot of other good deposits in other jurisdictions. So I think their prospects as an exploration company are actually good. People are also not aware of the other work that's being done. The Japanese government has made a national commitment to mine submarine massive sulfides. They have launched a ship and they are presently doing engineering work to build submarine massive sulfide mines. So I think probably their schedule is 2018 to bring mines to production and they're doing real work now. So that's, uh, that's something people should be aware of. There are also other companies that are actively doing work. They all keep a fairly low profile and um, so the, the, the most public uh, view of it is, uh, is Nautilus's work and that's because they are a public company and um, I think but the, the work that's being done by the Japanese government, by other parastatals, Korea, Russia and uh, China will bring this uh, type of deposit to production and they may do it first. Well I think they should look at the risk reward ratio for exploration in the ocean for submarine massive sulfides and it's different because uh, the economics of bringing a mine to production are I think better, the discovery rates are better and uh, the I guess the weirdness of ocean, deep ocean mining, is, it's not really that weird and it's something that people should think very carefully about.